Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today uh, we have reached 25,000 subscribers. So this is a special video which we are making and I hope you will like it and thank you so much for your love and support. We have reached 25,000 subscribers and in future also we will be making many Abacus videos. So please stay subscribed and click on the bell icon to receive all the notifications about the new videos. So as you have seen in the thumbnail, I have met the former Honorable President of India, Shrimati Padiba Patel in 2012. So I'll tell you the entire process, what happened, everything. So please continue watching. So when did I meet? Uh, I have met in 2012. So on that day, uh, we were given a chance in Rashtrapati Bhavan. We spent the whole day there from morning to evening. And we had a photo shoot, we had lunch, everything. Uh, it was it was a great day and uh, how did I get a chance to meet? I was a champion in competition of state Andhra Pradesh. It was Andhra Pradesh in 2012, not Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. So I was a champion in the last level, which is the toughest level. So I'll tell you how many questions I have solved in that competition. So I'll add a screenshot here. You can get an understanding of how difficult the level was and I was a champion in that. Coming to how did I get a chance? So this was a regional competition. That means only the state uh, students will participate and I was a champion in the last level. So uh, while meeting uh, the honorable president, what happened was uh, I was from Andhra Pradesh. So there are other states in India, right? So all the champions from all the states got a chance to meet and we all, uh, we all were taken uh, to the Rashtrapati Bhavan and then we we met the uh, honorable president so that was the process uh, what happened now, so this was one competition I was a champion so I participated me and my brother also participated in various other abacus competitions we have won all the competitions wherever we participated I'll add a picture here so we participated in five competitions two were national competitions one was international two were state state level competition so me and my brother both have won all the competitions as you can see in this picture there are uh, duplicates of each trophy that means i have won the trophy my brother have won the trophy so that's why we are having two copies of same trophy these are all the achievements and prizes whatever we have won me and my brother as you can see in the picture so coming to uh, how I used to practice for competitions is it's all about practice. We used to get a notification or an announcement uh, before one and a half or two months or three months before just like uh, we have a competition on April 9th. So I declared one and a half month before we used to get the same uh, declaration. We used to get the announcement one or two months before. So what I used to do is I used to practice a lot of times. I used to take a Xerox and I used to create my own questions according to the syllabus and I used to practice. Me and my brother used to compete and uh, daily we used to practice around two to three papers. So in that way, uh, we used to uh, improvise ourselves. So if we have done 20 questions for the first time, we try to do 20 or more than that. So we, we, we never used to compromise on our speed and accuracy. So in competitions, both are important. Speed is important, accuracy is important. We focus on both of them. In this way, we used to practice the competitions. Even for our students, we tell that practice is the most important thing and they should focus on practice itself. So before continuing the video, I, I would like to tell you that we are also conducting a free Abacus competition on April 9th. So if you are interested, you can watch the video and you can register for that competition. The link is in the description. So, I have been a student and I have won the competitions. Now I am hosting the competitions. It's a long journey. One more interesting fact is uh, we have learned Abacus around 12 or 13 years back and still uh, me and my brother do the calculations at the same speed. We remember all the concepts and we still do at the same speed. So that is the magic and 
the secret behind that is you should not only depend on the assignments whatever you are practicing you should rather implement abacus in day to day life for example if you are uh, if you are going to any shop and there is some bill right so instead of calculating it on a calculator just see it and solve all the calculations so you should check you can check the answer uh, in the calculator so this is just one example in that way you should implement wherever you see numbers in real life for example i'll tell you one more example when you uh, when you travel you see number plates on the vehicles right so there there is some there will be some random numbers for example uh, 1729 is there okay what you should do is just try to Uh, break it into multiplications. For example, seventeen into twenty-nine. You can break it, or else you can make it one seventy-two into nine, or else you can do one seven two nine skill. You can do multiplication table of seventeen, multiplication table of twenty-nine. In this way, you can generate your own questions and practice. So we implemented it that way. So that's why we are able to remember the concept still today. Okay, it's been almost twelve years, but. we still remember all the concepts that is a secret and even for our students we tell the same thing you should not only depend on the assignments you should implement abacus in your school wherever you are doing math problems or wherever you are seeing numbers just try to do addition subtraction multiplication division wherever it is possible so that is the only thing uh, in which you can remember the concepts for long in future i'll be making some videos about how fast i'll solve the calculations i have never made a video like that so i'll do that in near future so addition subtractions multiplication and divisions all those videos i'll be making soon so stay subscribed and uh, let's continue one more important announcement is so we have developed a website uh, practiceabacusonline.com if you are interested uh, to practice abacus apart from your uh, books you can come to our website and practice it's completely free and there are many things that you can practice on the website so i'll give the link in the description you can just check it out and i hope you love it and that's about the video i hope you like the video and uh, thank you again for 25000 subscribers we'll continue making the same kind of videos and even in hindi we are trying to make videos in future so stay tuned and thank you everyone